do this every day, I said I'll do it I'm so on any time she walked away, but so often It is down to do it either way What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. I realised the other day that I don't really like document the, the, like, the journey as much as I used to. Like, I don't really do like vloggy type of videos, normally it's like tutorial based. So I thought, you know what, today let's just change it up again and just like document what I'm doing, just make a little vlog out of it. Um, not much happened today, I got one meeting in Amsterdam like, in two hours and it's like, uh, it's a startup and um, like the owners of the startup, like they're all into like cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and stuff like that. And they've actually developed, to be honest, I'm not even sure if I can tell this, like this might be confidential, but basically um, they're offering a service where other companies can give their employees like shares into the company, but uh, with Bitcoin basically, like, it's something along those lines. And basically they want me to promote it, and uh, I had a chat with the, with the owner the other day, and uh, we might be doing something like long term where like I just pick up their social media and like create a strategy around their online presence and he uh, basically just chatting and I said you know what for now let me just do like one campaign one ad campaign through uh, Facebook ads and then I'll show you the results see what I can do like with a small budget and then you know only they like they can only imagine what I can do if I actually done done this. Uh, on a monthly basis. So, um, actually using Ad Espresso for this. Um, only been using it for a while, but I'm quite happy with it. Basically, Ad Espresso does a split test for you. So, let's say, for example, you've got one ad and uh, you want to see if, like, you, you want to make sure like that ad does convey. So, like, you've got, let's say, for example, you're, you're selling, I don't know, like, t shirts or something like that, and then uh, you got like you've got like your headline where it says like t-shirts on sale and then uh, what add a special does it allows you to do split tests so you can have like um slim fit t-shirts on sale large t-shirts on sale uh, nylon t-shirts on sale you know like stuff like that like you can just do all kinds of tests and then uh, you can also test you can also test um like the pictures and you can just split test all different types of variables on your your ads and that's me ring light by the way and I, it'll just pick the best one out for you and show you which one converts best which ones doesn't and then it'll move your ad budget to the ones that do convert best so quite happy with it like i'm just messing around with it i think it's quite a especially if you're into digital marketing it could be quite a handy tool to have uh, it was actually a mere um a medical marketing, I think, is his company's called. He was the one that got me onto it, so I'm uh, happy with that, definitely. Got me a little to-do list. Yeah, made a little uh, more to-do list, just things that I want to get uh, done today. Actually, I was supposed to do client acquisition this morning, but I just woke up dead. I just I couldn't do it, so I'm going to have to do that later as well. Uh, I try and keep like the pipeline full by doing client acquisition at least once a day, whether it's just, just like uh, approaching a client, Doing like an order for a client, which I don't really do as much anymore, or just like search on freelance websites if there's anyone like offering uh, anyone looking out for social media management or social media marketing. So that's my little update. Um, and we'll see if I can document actually, it's quite confidential, so I'll see if I can document or film little snippets of that meeting later today. And other than that, no idea what we're getting up to. So Check in with you guys in a bit. By the way, I've realised that I haven't got like the highlight feature, uh, what everyone else got on Instagram. I've got it on like the the brand Panier business account, but on my private like personal brand account, I haven't got that option. Anyone know how, to, how I can fix this? Like, it's not the the archive button or anything like that. I've already set all that up properly. Like, see, say the archive. So it's not that. But curious, want to know why? Let me know. Amsterdam right now and the thing I'm most excited about is to see this building because this building it's it's called B Amsterdam and basically it's just this old building that they've renovated and they've allowed like loads and loads of startups and like tech companies and all that to hire office space in it and so when you walk in it's just this big like massive room full of like uh, tech startups and entrepreneurs and like-minded people so I'm really excited to see this building like I said hope I can 
like film and document in it because uh, the company I'm seeing it's still like uh, it's, it's still all low key and stuff like that. So I'll let you guys know if I'm allowed to film in it. Hopefully I can get like a time lapse at the very least of like me doing the ads or something like that. But anyway, guys, checking with you. I actually thought it was here, but it's not. So hopefully I'm going the right way. I think it's left there, end of the street. Hope so. If not, I'm in the wrong part of Amsterdam. Just check, we're nearly there. It is like literally to the left and then, then we're actually there. B, Amsterdam. Good step count this, fucking hell. For those of you that are interested in fitness, uh, I'm actually cutting right now, just started this week two. I'm at 2400 calories, so that's what like 300 calorie uh, deficit for me. Trying to get 10,000 steps a day, so not really too bothered walking. But yeah, it's going good. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to document more like uh, fitness content, maybe workouts in the gym and stuff like that. What does that be reminded of? They even use the same font and everything, that's boss. So there are all the startups that are like based here. Guys, back home again, like I said, already sort of expected it, but uh, I wasn't the, uh, well, we go better late. It wasn't like the best moment to like uh, film the meeting. Uh, and to be honest, I didn't even ask if I was allowed to film. I just sort of got the vibe that um, because like the sort, like just starting out and like the product or like the, what, the, what they're offering, it's still sort of, like low key, they're still working on it, you know, they're still trying to get it up and running, so I thought, you know what? Uh, not so I don't really give them the idea that I'm trying to like hijack their idea or anything like that. I just won't ask if I can film, I just leave it at that. But uh, meeting went well. I'm actually like really interested in like doing social media for them. Like I would love them as a client because they are uh like i think they're gonna be really big if they do pull this off so uh, what i've done is i've offered them like um a month of coaching like strategy coaching so i'm going to help them come up with like a strategy in terms of ads in terms of getting leads in terms of what to focus on at what like moment in time and stuff like that then once all that's up and running then i'll say after a month i'll go like listen you know, I've showed you what I can do. I've showed you what you should do. Do you need any help uh, doing it, or do you like? Do you want me to to set it up like as good as possible and run it for you? Just see what they say. You know, they might go for it, and then I'll have myself like another client, like a really interesting one at that. But the building that you were in with Bosch, like like I said, it's it's just all startups together. And I was walking through like the building, and they're all like little glass offices, and you can look in. And like you just see these big massive like brown papers with all like sticky notes and strategies and like there's plants everywhere, there's all mad like it's like, like a proper like hipster hip type of office, you know like everyone's young, everyone's there's MacBooks everywhere, there's like plugs coming from the, the, the ceiling, it's just oh, I don't know. I just, I had really got a good vibe off it and I would love to be like if I wasn't like really focused on being like a lean business, then I would love to to like be based there but anyway back home again i should say got me a little coffee um actually got a coaching call in a minute where a uh, bot should be at fitness you probably know him from like back in the day when i post a lot of fitness content uh just go like uh, over some strategies like uh, like i said he's really like he's still back he's still really big on the fitness content i've gone more towards business so you know we can help each other out let me know like i said before like let me know if you want me to post more fitness content like uh when you look at like i don't want to copy anyone else but when you look at like max tudor and christian guzman and stuff like that like they do find like the perfect balance between fitness and like business like i would love to be able to balance it like that but then obviously be a little bit more business oriented because like that is like uh, what i'm really focused on at the moment but also just have like little snippets of like fitness and just little fitness tips fitness content stuff like that so let me know in the comments down below if that's something i should start doing again 
Nisë të tajmë i kur të Ne shnope, i kësha o konë dhe nasht, nasht dit Kësha o konë e të bejsh me kje ajk website E do në kësha o Më shkim baba e të shna të shtyre O fa o pi socials, ka nuk Just finish off that call with a bunch of UBM fitness, a just about strategy website, you know, just going forward, something like that. After that, I actually had some tweets, had a nap, went for a walk, and now I'm about to hop on an Instagram live with a digital marketer called Quinton Chad. He's from Canada, and we're both like on the same journey. So, uh, we thought, you know what, let's just, let's just like, because we, we contact each other quite often, let's just like call each other, but then just through Instagram live, and then if anyone wants to like, uh, like jump in or ask a question they can so if you don't follow me on Instagram just yet then make sure you do because like we will be doing stuff like this more often so you can get your, qu your questions answered uh, more quickly if you've got any other questions then let me know in the comments down below like share comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one